Alright, hey guys, Anime West Reacts series and reaction to Tomodachi Game Episode 7, or not a reaction, but a review. So, episode starts off with um, Yuichi in the past, he's meeting with his mom, I guess, and yeah. Pretty much counting money that he says they're going to need to live on this for two weeks, and she pretty much says what we've been seeing, so that... Um, most important thing in life was friends, and then this old, older gentleman, or older guy that he calls Sensei outside, asks him the same thing, and he says the most important thing is money. And so then we have Tenji and <clears throat> get more explanation of why Tenji did all this, pretty much. So, Yubichi and Tenji are in the bottom of this pit in a cage or in a cave, pretty much, and so, yeah. Madabu comes over an inter-speaker thing, tells him to have fun for the next 72 hours being in this, like, area, basically. They're being detained for the next three days, basically, so they have to survive off just a bottle of water. And so, yeah, Tenji then explains why he betrayed them, or just talk to you about why I betrayed every, everyone and explain everything. And so he tells him about how this is a second Tomodachi game. Explains the situation that Shiho apparently has taken away his most impress, most precious thing in, that he had in the world was taken by Shiho. So he starts explaining that back in the past he had two very close best friends. They were gonna like start a company together, and then Shiho appeared. Or we see that Shiho appears saying, and then his friends are like, Tenji, who's that girl? Yeah. And it's just after, Tenji says, after that day, we began to have trouble managing, the fu managing our funds for some reason. So yeah, he confronts them about it. <clears throat> So yeah, they confront him about dating Shiho. And so, yeah, well, well, we still have the money when we were together, when we enter high school together. So yeah, one of them mentions, or brings up a game, and then, yeah. Total reaches 20 million, whoever made it will profit. And so yeah, that's when they get introduced to Tomodachi game. And so, yeah, it ruined their friendship. Left him, yeah, 10 million in debt. That one of us was, one of them was already 10 million in debt. And then, yeah. Tenji got everyone's combined debt of 20 million all to himself. And so, yeah, after two days later, they let him, they set him free. So he immediately went and, like, grabbed one of his friends and pretty much said like asked what what happened to all the money and he he says he used it on Chiho he says I used all of it for Saragi so yeah that kind of <clears throat> starts him down this path of wanting revenge on her and then he told his dad about it and then the next day seemingly or his dad Ends up dead after saying he was going to go talk to Shio's family, I think is what it was. Yeah. Her, his, Tenji's dad said he was going to go directly to Shiho and talk to her about it. Because her dad's his best friend in the whole world, and then somehow now he's dead. So Tenji's got the logical kind of conclusion that obviously Shiho must have some part in it if he was going to go to her house and then just winds up dead the next day. <clears throat> so yeah. Shiho was at the center of everything that was happening. And after that, he decided to investigate her thoroughly but couldn't get anything or he says that didn't go well either. Hmm. He says, but that didn't go well either. So he got an email from an unknown sender after that. Hmm. 
but sticking your nose into Shio's business. If you don't, you'll disappear too, just like Mikasa Yutaka, his dad, basically. And so yeah, I pretty much figured that he would use the Tomodachi game to out Shio as, yeah. <laughs> and then he says Shio told one really big lie, and so, yeah, overheard their conversation, obviously. And so, yeah, the total debt is 10.8 million. It's the same as when he played before. <clears throat> That's what he says. And so, yeah, he asked Manabu, and then Manabu just, yeah, pretty much says that they have 10.8 million. So someone lied about their debt, because otherwise they would have six total of 18.8, .8, given, like, all their totals currently, if Shio has 6.2 million. And so, yeah, Tenji says that his question card during the second half said that he could cut his debt in half, so he had his real debt is 2.1 million. And so Shibe's debt amount should be 200,000. <laughs> so Saragi's debt is too high. So that's how everything adds up. If you, yeah, 2.2, 2.2, Shibe having 200,000. You each have 4.1 million. Who and so yeah, he says you each have everything she said was a lie, <laughs> and you each said that, and she is quite the scam artist. And so yeah, he shouldn't just believe everything Tenji's told him, obviously. So Tenji's one goal is to avenge his father's death. And so yeah, he's decided to follow Yuichi because he has the strength to bring down the Tomodachi game. And so he actually shows him that his debt is 2.1 million and then it doubles because of that. Because yeah, they said it was double if he showed the name. And so yeah, 60 hours later, Yuichi pretty much said that he would think about it. And then tells Tenji after they get out of this to apologize to um, Kokorogi and Shibe because they're just real idiots. <laughs> and so, yeah. Or, pretty much he says that they're real idiots. And so, Yuichi tells Tenji when they get out of this to apologize to them. If that's, if there's at least some part of him feels guilt, then he should apologize to them. And so, yeah, time for the third game, which we got Sergeant Manabu now, <laughs> and a new character. And so, yeah, we learned that the third game, pretty much, is going to be a friendly hide-and-seek, and that's why it's pretty much impossible to win alone, because they're in this huge forest, you have to play hide-and-seek. So then we get an explanation of how it works. So yeah, since they have two people, they can only have one seeker and one hider. So yeah, that's why, yeah. Okay, so he says, I'll explain again later, but here are the rules. So yeah, be violent. Can't be violent and can't move the hider, but can contact, eat, surrender, slash give up, and change sides. And so, yeah, we get a lot of information on rules and stuff, like why um, switching sides could be beneficial if you're a winning team and the game ends. Personal debt that you would have gained from failing to clear will go to the loser. So, yeah, you can, like, basically switch sides right as the game is about to end, and then all the loser, you're, you're like, the team you betrayed, we get all the debt. Friends or money, yeah. It's basically what it's all about. And so, yeah, because Yuichi and Shibe only have... That. Or there's... Yuichi and Tenji, but they... Minabu says I have some exclusive information for the group. C guys, basically that... It's a leftover from another group that would like to join yours, so Yuichi just asks if it's a cute girl. <laughs> and then agrees, and so yeah, that's the reason why it would be near impossible for the two of them to win 
or just the two of them to win. Because you need one person hiding and then one person going around looking for the other team. And so, yeah. They decide that some um, opposite direction west or east. And so, yeah, pretty much. It's a pretty good episode. We got the third game beginning. It's hide and seek. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you do, leave a like, comment on the video, subscribe for more anime reaction reviews and manga reviews, and I'll see you all later. So, yeah.